Hello everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to Doing It Right. This is going to be a film where you're going to see what happens when you get Joe Schmo. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not licensed in what I do and I'm going to throw you the lowest bit. This is why you don't go with the lowest bidder people because what happens is this type of instance and scenario, which you're about to see right now. So what we have here, make sure if you come into a situation like this, you have a negative airflow going out uh, the enclosure or wherever you're at. Because one thing that's very important is to make sure that we keep this from entering the house. Uh, another thing you want to do is make sure you turn off the inside um, HVAC unit your air conditioning unit because that will overpower any fan that you can buy pretty much so what we have here is the contractor who built the home hired a tile company now this hasn't come off yet as you can see this is still attached so it's exactly the way that they had left it the only thing i had ripped off now is the front so what's happening here is there was a reverse pitch put on this tile to where the tub was going so what's been happening for the last 15 years is water's been back flowing to the tub down to the framework and causing black mold look at that people see all that mold now the reason for that and as you can see it starts at the top the reason for that is, is because we have all that water going with nowhere to go except down. Now if they had, a, if a reputable tile company that had come in, we would have had a pitch going the correct way and that water would never be going back into your framework causing all this rot, all this mold. All this nonsense to happen which uh, is the reason you don't want to go with uh, Joe Schmo lowest bidder I'm doing it for lunch money in a 12 pack okay it's very important that you get someone who's licensed knows what they're doing and uh, you can see how it's going if you see anything like this don't be afraid to go by a torpedo level and check on the guys who are doing the work for you you know what I mean go in there and see if things are pitching the right way if it's a wet area like this, as you can see, it's it was like that against the uh, knee wall as well, where the um, glass was sitting. There was a reverse pitch on that as well, which is why you can see all that rot and damage as well. Here's another reason you want to do a complete membrane. Um, waterproof the complete shower not just do a little shower pan six inches up hoping that um, water is not going to get through because one thing that always happens unless you do a absolutely seamless waterproofing membrane there's water is going to find a way in it just will and this is just proof of that right now this is behind the walls on my shower and as you can see that shower pan doesn't go up that high and doesn't protect anything above that code is 12 inches so all right folks just so I can show you now what you want to do to make sure to remediate this spray it with bleach bag it up get it out with the least uh, path of resistance inside as possible luckily I got a window I can just throw it out right here sometimes you don't have that luxury um, I luckily do, so I can just chuck it right out the window and not worry about getting spores throughout the home and uh, damaging or spreading any of this nonsense that's going on here. Again, reverse pitch. Alright, you guys, so uh, until next time, um, if I got something that I gotta show you or, or a great tip that I come up with, if you got any questions, feel free to contact. In the comments I always get those so go ahead and, and do that if you have any questions or want to see or know the correct procedure to get anything done of that nature 
Just go ahead and send me a message. Let me know. I'll be happy to get back to you. Until then, have a good one, guys.